have our routines, which are important, but you get up, you have your coffee, you have breakfast, you go to work, you work super hard all day, and then you like have a couple meetings, and you have a pohana, and then you go home and you make dinner, and then you do your laundry, and you pass out, and work out, and then you do it all over again. And you're kind of in this robotic stance. Even just taking some moments before you have lunch. Breathe and just really think about your breath for about 30 seconds. It's amazing how much that will actually change the experience of your eating. It will even help you to digest your food better. What I really love to do is to provide a space that allows people to slow down and to connect with others and to find presence and to create new experiences that are then carried off into their lives and then that can then create positive change. Hotels don't have to just be hotels where you lay your head at night or you go and have dinner and breakfast and swim in the pool. They can be places for public art. They can be places where change is made, places of inspiration as well. I mean, hotels are beautiful. That's why people stay at them because they are peaceful and tranquil and it's where you're on vacation. So why not capitalize on that energy to do more, especially on a local level? For people who come to the surf jack and they stay there, um, who are from here, a lot of times those staycations are either connected to holidays, of course, um, which is expected, but then it's also connected to a lot of the experiences that we provide. So that's what I work the hardest at Surf Jack to provide, is a space for public discourse and a space for, for communication between people from various cultures. I mean, it's a hotel. There's people coming in from all over the world, and we're also a community platform for people who live here. So it's bridging the gap between the two and providing a safe space. That's what I'm definitely the most passionate about, is to kind of act as a conduit or a connector and to provide a space to make these things happen. Kind of connecting people together who may have otherwise never met. You can find a path to work together and to create something new. And I think Surf Jack and my work there, um, I've seen that happen so many times. And that's the most gratifying thing in the world. My name is Casey Collins Wright. I am a DJ. I am a creative producer. I am the director of experience at the Surf Jack Hotel. Who DJ Godiva. It has been a whirlwind. The music has been, it's been almost like a side hustle slash form of meditation for me since 2011. I consider DJing being like a song curator or a music selector, a vibe creator, a space creator. You're giving people experiences to enhance their life. As a musician myself and as a creative soul, I was really uncertain. You know, when you're ju jumping into something new, I didn't really know what my sound was or what my identity as a DJ was. And so I, it was hard for the first couple of years to even do anything in public. I was so self-conscious about who I was and where I was going and what I represented. When I moved to Hawaii, it was actually when I really started to put myself out there. For some reason, this community, this place, it made me feel like I could do it. It's been over the past like four or so years that I've really found my sound and my identity as a DJ. And I'm so passionate about all kinds of different things that you don't have to stick into one genre. It doesn't really matter as long as I'm loving it. I think that people will hopefully receive that and feel that and love it too. The more I work in the fields that I work in, the more I realize that I am Creativity and mindfulness are so hand in hand. I'm at my most creative and my most driven when I have time to get inspiration, gather inspiration elsewhere, or to sit down and have long dinners with people and just brainstorm ideas and then actually make it happen. And even if it's a simple meeting and we're updating each other about like the things that we've got to do next week, even in those moments, trying to be as present and aware and like really listening to the people and what they're saying that I'm around, that all fuels the creativity, you know, and the spirit. I would really love to see a world and a community that's, especially in the United States, that's slowing down, where we're slowing down our eating habits, our lifestyle, where we're not working 60 hour work weeks anymore. We're spending more time enjoying life and each other. That inevitably brings a lot more happiness. And when people are more happy, then that creates more success and that creates healthier communities and it creates more movements and positive change.
sadness always sit upon the stars.